Hey guys, it's Shara Light Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Med Speed Paint. This was day 12 with the theme of Aristocat. And this speed paint was originally live streamed on June 6, no, June 19, 2015. That I confused myself. So, for Aristocat, you probably can guess it by now knowing my biases, but Aristocat, I did Luke from Tales of the Abyss. And for those who have played Tales of the Abyss, you'd know that Luke has a very nice aristocratic outfit. It's the blue long sleeve one with the white designs and the red sash. And I really like that outfit, so uh, it was the first thing that came to mind when I read the prompt. So I drew Luke. Is that surprising? Not at all. <laughs> but I usually draw guy, so it's, it's a little bit different than usual. It's sort of amazing to see the difference of things you drew in 2015 and things you drew in 2016 and things you're drawing now and see how similar they are but also how different and how you've changed certain styles or how you've changed your anatomy and for anyone who thinks that they don't improve with their art, uh, I suggest that you look at your old pieces. If you cringe, then that means you've improved because it means that uh, your your eyes or your brain no longer thinks that that's how things should look like. It means that something has changed with the way you view things and the way you draw things. So if you cringe, it's a good thing. <laughs> uh, so look at your old sketchbooks even just a year ago or two years ago. If you cringe or think like, oh, that, that doesn't look right, then you've improved, my friend. Or you can be like one of my friends. Uh, he his, his opinion is that that was the best that he could do at that time, so he doesn't cringe. Or he doesn't like feel embarrassed about it. And that's a really good way of thinking, to be honest. But I personally cringe occasionally, especially if it's a piece that... Mm, I wasn't particularly proud of or it wasn't something that I was super pumped about because you know how there are certain pieces that when you draw it it's okay I drew it it's nice I got the AD out and then there are pieces that are like oh shit I love this or uh, oh, this is like the masterpiece for this year or for this month or something like that so there are some pieces that I, I have that are like the masterpieces one and those pieces, I'm still pretty proud of because I remember the feeling and the thoughts that I had when I drew those pieces. But pieces like this that are slightly more um, just to get drawing or I just like the idea so I'll be doing it. Those are the ones I tend to cringe at. But I, I don't cringe and like hate it. It's like, oh man. And it, it's more of the idea that, oh man, I was so proud of this at the time and now that I look back on it, there were a lot of problems and I should have, shouldn't have been super proud, but you can't help it. You, be, you feel proud of what you make. So, yeah. If you cringe, don't just shut your sketchbook and like chuck it in the fire. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you cringe, uh, try to see what's different. And sometimes it's obvious. For me, for this 2015 piece right now, for me... I know that nearly everything is different from my lining style to the way I'm doing the background right now which is pretty shitty and even back then I knew the, the way I did the background was pretty shitty because I was in a hurry and I didn't really care about it but uh, the coloring style, the colors that I choose, honestly everything is different but it still is recognizably mine. It's like the way that I draw or the way that I do proportions or the way I do that's what I don't know. Like I don't know how it's still similar because it, it's definitely mine the way that it looks like. But everything, the entire process is definitely different. That that might be something fun to do. Like 
I mean, I guess that's why the Joy Again meme started because it encourages you to look back on your old pieces and try to do it again to see what's different. So yeah, basically this has, this has become about trying not to cringe or cringing at your old works. <laughs> it's okay to cringe, just don't run away from the cringe. <laughs> Face the cringe. Oh, acknowledge the cringe. Oh man. I really like how I did his hair though. <laughs> it really looks like Luke. I think. Yeah, it looks like Luke. Like for example, I, I'm just constantly talk, talking to her all the time now, ain't I? The way that I'm doing the hair now, let's start with the color. Usually, I, if I if I was the one coloring that now, I would have chosen a more darker, less bright, obviously darker, obviously less bright, um, a more a more desaturated, darker toned red for the shadows and let's not even talk about the way I colored it but just the color and for this shirt I would have chosen a more well it's okay but perhaps a darker tone and the tone that incorporates the green in the background into it or the blue so that it looks like it's part of the piece and these are things that you just slowly learn and I guess the one suggestion is to when you old when you look at your old paintings and or your old drawings and cringe, try to see what you could have improved. Because sometimes the problems that you had back in those old drawings still persist in your newer things. And I, I think I discussed this in one of my old one of my videos. So uh like I, I think I was talking about the wrist and I had some problems with defining the wrist and that is something you might want to check out. Look at your old drawings and then see what you could have improved. What is wrong? What is making you cringe? And then try to see if you've solved that problem in your newer drawings. If you haven't, then it's a point for you to improve on. If you have, then good job! That's great! Like now, I'm watching this and I've changed the entire process and that's something I learned how to do by looking at my old paintings and my old speed paints and I'm also trying to see what I am what I did wrong and if I'm still doing it now or if I'm still making more or less the same mistakes so I I, hmm. I guess with this my mistake was the background definitely it was such a huge fail because I was in a hurry and I didn't want to deal with the background but as I said that's something I've been trying to fix and with this I should have chosen darker a darker color for the lines to make it more defined because I haven't really learned the art of using darker shadows for <laughs> at this time um, hmm. yeah that's pretty much it
So, we're reading the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like or subscribe if you haven't yet. And please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Deventart. And I'll see you around.